Thank you for volunteering to keep Nashville green and healthy. This how-to tree planting video is for community volunteer tree planting projects. Most event organizers will have an online registration form for you to complete in advance. If the weather is questionable on the day of the event, check updates on the organizer's website. Light to moderate rain will not necessarily cancel the planting. On arrival to a planting event, check in, get a name tag, note the bathroom location, and if it was not done electronically, sign a volunteer waiver form. Some events will provide your specific planting locations at this time, and others will provide them following a tree planting demonstration. Tree planting tools include a spade shovel that has a point on it to help break through the dirt, a mattock or pickaxe, a knife or pruners, and optionally, gloves and a rake. Volunteers will be asked to bring tools, such as a shovel, and tools may also be provided by the event organizer at a checkout center. Please mark any tools you bring so they do not get mixed up with other tools. Note that the free 811 Call Before You Dig service will have already reviewed and marked the site for underground utilities. Most events will have a tree planting demonstration that will cover safety, planting, watering, and cleanup. Following the demonstration, planting teams may be formed and assignments made. Generally, a team of three people can plant three trees in three hours. In addition to having trees properly planted, a priority of the event is for the volunteers to have a fun and safe experience. Be prepared for the weather. Wear layers that can easily be shed as the day warms up. Wear sturdy shoes, suitable for digging. Stretching should be done as a group or individually to warm up the legs, shoulders, and especially your lower back. Drinking water may be provided for hydration, but be prepared and bring your own and take water breaks as needed. Communicate with the project coordinator if the weather changes. Go immediately to safety if you hear thunder or see lightning. Everyone should have a name tag. It's best if it's on your front and back so your name can be called out quickly to prevent an accident. Learn how to use tools safely. A shovel lying on the ground is a trip hazard. To prevent accidents, slice the sharp edge into the ground for it to stand up. For the mattock or pickaxe, alert everyone loudly, pickaxe. including those behind you, before use. Also, gently turning in a circle with the tool in your hand will help get your team member's attention. When using, let the weight of this tool do the work by falling to the ground, not your arms and back. Take a wide leg stance when using a pickaxe. First, we are going to review the guidelines for planting a bald and burlapped tree. Using the shovel handle as a tool, measure the size of root ball and the depth and width of the hole and grade level. The grade level is the top of the ground before any digging has occurred. Dig the hole twice the width of the root ball with gentle sloping sides. If dug wider, over time the tree may lean. Use your shovel to break up any glazed looking dirt on the side of the hole as this may prevent the roots from penetrating out into the ground. Do not stake the tree as this would require monitoring to make sure that the cords do not grow into the tree trunk as it grows. Identify the root collar where the trunk flare and the roots meet. In the process of digging the tree at the nursery, the digging machine may have pushed the dirt up the trunk above the root collar. This dirt will need to be gently pushed back or removed to expose the root collar. This is a very important step for the future health of the tree. Dig the hole next to the root ball. First remove the top grass and keep it in an orderly pile. You may use an empty mulch bag or any plastic cover to serve as a temporary tarp to place removed grass and dirt on. Using the shovel handle to measure, dig the hole about two inches less than the height of the root ball. The root collar is to be planted two inches above grade level. Over time, the planted tree will settle down slightly in the hole. This is another very important step as the roots need to breathe and if planted too deeply, they may suffocate. 
Also, keep the dirt in an orderly pile, or filling the hole back up will be a challenge. There is a good chance that you may encounter limestone rock. For small pieces, pick them out and they can be placed at the base of the tree when it is planted and out of the way of the lawnmower. If there is a lot of rock or large rocks, move the hole over a foot or two. Note that the planting area has been cleared for underground utilities, so you do not want to move the hole too far from the original site. Also, always note and avoid planting under overhead utility lines. Before the tree is raised and the branches are out of reach, remove all twine and tags. You may choose to leave on the tree name tag. Please leave on any Root Nashville Tree Canopy Campaign tag. Root Nashville is a countywide effort to plant a half million trees by 2050. The trees you plant in a community event will be mapped and counted towards this goal. If you plant a tree in your yard, please go to rootnashville.org and map your tree to be counted as well. Gently roll the tree into the hole. Do not attempt to pick it up by the trunk, as this will cause roots to break and you may injure your back. Is it straight? Have a volunteer team member view the tree from a distance and on many sides to make sure it is set straight. Next, remove the nails holding the burlap together and dispose of them properly. Roll the burlap down at least two-thirds from the top of the root ball, cutting off as much of the fabric as you can. Do not remove it from the bottom of the tree as this may cause the root ball to crumble. Also, removing the burlap before the tree goes in the hole creates the potential for the roots to dry out. Most burlap used today is made from natural fibers, not synthetic, and will biodegrade over time. Remove any binding or plastic twine. If there is a wire basket, bend it out flat at least two-thirds down from the top of the root ball. Tree roots grow in about the top 18 inch of the soil and the burlap and wire basket will be below the root zone. Filling the hole. Fill around the root ball with the broken up soil you removed. Gently fill and pack, not stomp, the soil until the hole is filled. The shovel can be used to break up any clods of dirt. The tree collar should be about two inches above grade. Do not amend the soil with fertilizer or compost. This can cause the roots to circle and stay in the amended area and not get established in the ground. This is known as the bathtub effect. Once the dirt has been filled in, lay the sod upside down in a circle around the tree at the edge of the root ball. This will create a moat and will help keep the water from flowing away from the tree. Next. Remove any tree trunk fabric or paper wrapping. It is only there to protect the trunk during transportation. Keeping it on creates a moist environment where diseases and insects can live on the trunk. Mulch around the base of the tree without letting it touch the trunk, about two to three inches deep. Mulch holds moisture and can cause diseases, mold, and insect issues if left touching the tree trunk. For planting a container-grown tree, follow the overall guidelines for the bald and burlapped tree. To remove the tree from a container, gently lay the tree on its side and put pressure on the container to loosen the roots so the tree will slide out easily. If there are a lot of roots, this will be a challenge. Using your foot to stomp on the container may help to accomplish this task. If the container is not too heavy, Tilt it upside down and at an angle and jerk the tree loose. Or simply cut the plastic container off. The roots may be growing in a circular direction and it is very important to redirect them. Otherwise, the roots will continue in this pattern and not grow into the ground. Both the side and bottom roots need to be pulled out of their matted mess and redirected outward. You may have to be tenacious, so use your shovel, pick, and hands. All of the hard work of planting a tree will be for naught unless the tree is properly watered. 
Deep watering at planting is important to help bond the root ball soil with the soil of its new home. With either a hose or a five gallon bucket, water should be applied slowly and methodically on all sides of the trunk. This helps the water penetrate into the soil to the bottom of the newly planted root ball and not flow away from the tree. It will take two buckets of water using the five gallon buckets. The tree will then need to be watered, enough to keep it moist but not soggy, during the growing months for three years. After that, trees need to be monitored and watered during times of drought. Project coordinators will have planned for the future watering of the trees you planted. If your tree planting is over early, check with the project coordinator for other potential planting assignments. Cleanup should begin 30 minutes prior to the end of the event. Use an empty mulch bag for collecting trash and one for recyclables and take them to designated areas. Before you leave, help scrape and clean shovels and picks free of dirt. Return tools and watering equipment to the original tool checkout area. Also bring empty plastic containers to the tool checkout area so they may be reused to grow another generation of trees. Let's review the top seven things to remember. Beware of your fellow volunteers. Safety is number one. Dig the hole two inches less than the height of the root ball and twice as wide. Find the root collar where the trunk flare and the roots meet. Plant tree with root collar two inches above ground. Roll the burlap and wire two thirds down the root ball. For container grown tree, redirect the roots from growing in a circle. And no mulch volcanoes, only mulch two to three inches thick and not touching the tree trunk. Thank you for your interest in trees and happy planting.